Hello and welcome to this film which is all about the reduction of metal oxides using carbon. Now for this experiment which is quite a dangerous one if you don't take care with it so there's a few safety points to watch out for here. For this experiment you need some copper oxide powder, some charcoal powder or some powdered carbon, you need a tripod, you need a Bunsen burner, a pipe clay triangle which you're going to stand your crucible in Okay, so you need a crucible and you need a spatula. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to put roughly equal amounts of these two powders into your crucible. Now, be a little bit careful when you're doing this, okay? If you're transferring the solid from a jar which is far away from the crucible, then you're likely to spoil some of it, okay? And these solids are quite annoying to have to tidy up afterwards because they make quite a mess and they're quite difficult to clean up. Okay, so try and make sure that your jar is nice and close to the crucible because then if something falls off your spatula it's likely to fall into your crucible there. Okay, now you want three or four heat spatulas of these two solids to go into your crucible. Once you've put them in there, give them a good stir before you heat anything up. Okay, now the aim here is to try and heat the carbon so strongly that it's able to take the oxygen away from the copper oxide and to do that we're going to need to put our crucible on top of the tripod and heat it with a Bunsen. Okay, so first of all, check that your crucible is not going to fall through your pipe clay triangle. Okay, if it does, get yourself a smaller pipe clay triangle, or sometimes if these pipes are a little bit broken, you can actually bend it a little bit to make it a bit smaller. Okay, put your pipe clay triangle on top of your tripod and then put your crucible inside it. Okay, now you're going to want to heat this mixture really, really strongly for about five minutes. And to do that, you're going to want a roaring Bunsen flame. So open the air hole gradually until you can see quite a pronounced blue cone on the inside of the flame. And you can also, it's called a roaring flame, because you can probably hear that noise it's making. I'm just going to dim the lights for a second so that you can see what this flame looks like. And it's that tip of the blue flame that is the very hottest part of it. So that's the bit that you want to heat with. Okay, so in other words, you want to try and get that tip of the blue cone to be touching the bottom of your crucible. Now once you've stopped heating your mixture, you want to let it cool right down. Now how do you know if it's cooled right down? Well, if you put your hand near it and it still feels warm, then it's probably too hot to handle. And what you shouldn't be doing here is trying to run the thing under cold water or anything like that to help it cool down. So just let it cool down at its own pace. Okay. When it's cold enough to hold in your fingers, that's when it's time to empty your mixture out. Now what you want to do here, you just want to take the crucible and you just want to tip it out onto your heat proof mat. Okay. Now clearly, if you haven't let that cool down properly, your fingers are going to get very, very hot indeed at this stage. Okay. Then once you've got, you're going to have a solid mixture here, just poke around in it and the aim of it now is just to see if you've formed any copper. So to see if the carbon has succeeded in taking the oxygen away from the copper oxide. Now as you've seen hopefully today, we've done everything on a heat proof mat, we're taking great care not to touch things that are hot and we've just been a little bit watchful to make sure that we don't spill these solids and we've done that by making sure that the crucible is nice and close to the jars that we're using. Now, as usual, if you've got any questions about the experiment, make sure you ask your teacher before you start. You should have enough detail there to write yourself a nice, clear method. So, good luck with the experiment.